Hi guys, I'm here and I'm back for another photo card starting video. And this is going to be my photo card starting video for the period of um, April 15 to April 30th. So if you're wondering why I'm doing this um, so soon, it's because I asked on my community tab um, which one would you guys prefer if I posted um, once a month or twice a month for the photo card starting video since I usually get a lot of cards anyway per month that I think I'm splitting them into two um, videos is enough. So if I don't have enough, then I'll skip that um, schedule and then just move, move on to the next one so that it'll be um, better. So the results were actually in favor of twice a month, so that's why I'm doing this right now. So yeah, um, so one of the reasons why I asked that is because um, the stack is quite alarming for like half a month. And also like the photo card, uh, I mean the maker inclusion binder is also quite um, thick already. So that's why I'm doing that. So. Yeah, um, we're gonna be starting off with the uh, SM Boy Groups binder, which houses um, my active collections of TVXQ and XO. So oh, for TVXQ, I'm only um, putting my um, air ticket from SMCU, SM Town Live, SMC Express at Kuangya. Yeah? So yeah, so I this is actually the eight air tickets is one of my favorite, if not my favorite kind of merch, since it has a lot of um, paper goods and it's not hard to store since they're just an envelope really. <laughs> So yeah, so I already put the stickers here so that it won't take up as much time. So look at this photo card though. Let me check if it's focused. That is such a cute photo card, don't you know? I love the pink background as well. I think he took this photo during the um, Pink in My Blood quiz. Something like that. Yeah. So they're going to be doing SM Town in Tokyo on August, I think. I'm not sure if they're going to be doing... Um, one of these um, air ticket sets again, but if they're gonna do it, if they're using the same photos, I'm gonna skip on it. If not, if that's like, you know, a totally new thing, then I'm gonna buy it. Hopefully, it's gonna be easier, it's gonna be easy to, f to find since um, it is a Japanese product and not a lot of like the group orders that I join usually um, buy from Japan. And then for this one, I'm, I'm storing the air ticket. So, um, you might be wondering why it's pink and then um, cream or like cosmic latte color just cause I'm trying to save on these kinds of pages since these are like um the three pocket pages for like the currency and I just use my um vacuum sealer to make this line so that it'll have like you know the separate um pocket yeah so if I get more extra stuff then I'll put it but for now this is just gonna have their um 10th anniversary fan meeting um air ticket so I bought one for Kyungsoo and one for um Shumen. I did I not prepare? Oh I did. Yeah, I just didn't put like a filler, I guess. Now for now, I'm gonna be putting this here. And I'm gonna put a filler later. So yeah, that, those are really nice photos actually. I really enjoyed the SMCU photos. So yeah, um, next up is XO. I don't have any bigger inclusions for them, but I have two photo cards. Both are from Lotto. So, Lotto is actually one of like the collections that I really struggled on. Just cause, um, I don't know, no one really traded for it. But and now I'm like down to the last showman card, so that's nice. So yeah, like I'm slowly completing my EXO collection. I think I'm down for showman. I'm down to this card. And then, yeah, I think so. I don't think I have any other cards left for him. It's just this one. Yeah. I'm usually, like, except for like the anomaly that is obsession, I'm mostly done with their cards. Yeah. Yeah, like you can see obsessions. So, yeah, um, let's. That's it for this um, binder. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Girls' Generation binder. So, for the Girls' Generation binder, I only have 10 cards. I have um, four. So, I'm slowly working on like finishing her collection. I'm just trying to find like good deals just because um, a lot of times her cards are even like the solo cards are really overpriced. But yeah. Uh, oh, I actually have the SMCU here. So I thought I was gonna like spend like a thousand pesos on this, but I found it for like around like 450 or 500, I think, pesos. So I was really happy when I saw that. So yeah, I'm done with the harder members to get, which is uh, Teo and Yuna. So, I, I know where to find these three, so I'm gonna get those um, soon. Especially 
when the prices have like you know um died down a bit since some people still sell them for like i don't know like 800 like 700 like a thousand pesos so yeah i don't want to pay as much so yeah and then next is the Teon solo cards and this one is for my voice and well, that's it so we have a complete page and like my voice is the struggle the collection i'm struggling with so yeah then we have the um purpose deluxe the other card just needing the i think the purple uh, the other purple purpose repackaged and then INVU, like this is complete INVU. um i found this card this is like one of my favorite 10 photo cards i just love the black wig so much <laughs> but yeah um like this thing is just so pretty i love these cards especially and then the zero the zero one then i just need the actual zero cards for the envy version I'm still waiting on my NV version, like my third copy to arrive. Just so I don't know if I should buy it or not. Or if I can trade for it. So yeah, um, that is actually it for this binder. Um quite short, but yeah, um they actually posted a teaser photo today. Or actually like yesterday technically, since I'm post I'm filming this um at like 3 or 4 a.m. But yeah, um I'm really excited. I'm I think it's for Hyoyun's um physical album. I'm really hoping it's for Yohan's physical album just because I really want Yohan photo cards here. Like, you know, um, that's like what I did with INVU. I'm gonna go um, ham on it and buy like from multiple sites and then buy um, like, you know, the ones that will, get, that will arrive to me quickly. So yeah, the, it's rumored to have like, you know, two versions. So that's not that bad. And I'm hoping that um, she gets the promotion that she deserves. If it's like a group comeback or like, uh, an OGG comeback then that's even like better since we have more members but then I also want Hyoyeon to get what she deserves and finally have a physical album so yeah um, that is it for the girls generation binder let's move on to the next one which is the girl groups binder so the girl groups binder I only have like a few cards since you know yeah <laughs> compared to last um, forward story video but yeah um, this one I actually bought already I'm just waiting for it to be I'm just waiting for it to arrive here then I have this Pink Revolution Nam's Word. I think I don't have this card. Where is Pink Revolution? Yeah, Pink Revolution. Blah. Oh my god. Like my Namjo collection is really shaping up. It's just that Onji is like a pain in the ass to collect. And then this is from Percent. Um, the clear card? Yeah, here. Um, I was like randomly looking for a pink cards and then saw these being sold for like 150 pesos like each so i was like yeah that's a really good deal so i should get it then this one i got from a trade which i was really happy about since you know i officially don't have any horn cards left up for a trade anymore so i'm just waiting for my extra three copies from i think my music taste which i ordered from like a group order so yeah i'm like actually the the horn cards like one two three four five six seven eight that's not bad that's um almost that's more than halfway done yeah then we have an oh my girl card like we, we just find like random oh my girl cards <laughs> yeah here really glad that i found that and just because oh my girl is just generally hard to collect since not a lot of people to sell their cards and then i finally have a haram album card Yeah, we have the cream or the A version, I think, of the Village of Perception. I'm trying to look for the other one, but the one that I saved on my cart, someone bought it already so, on Shopee. So that was really sad. And it was overpriced anyway. It's around, I don't know, like 450. But yeah, um, Haram, it's, slow, it's a slow collection. I am not, like, you know, trying to fast track a lot of collections because, you know, I don't want that pressure. So yeah, um, that is it for the Girl Group collection. Let's move on to the next one, which is the NTT Binder. So for the NTT Binder, we have um, these. <laughs> so it's mostly the SM Town stuff and then um, Glitch Mode since I received my Digipack once. But yeah, I guess let's put the postcards first. Yeah, um, I actually do have Jomo's um, Universe 
postcard. So I just need Sunlas now. But like it's not a priority. Just because um, it's just postcards really. And then this one is for the... This is so messy. The um, AR ticket sets. Yeah, so I'm gonna be grouping Shaojin and Chanla together since um, they're from the same version, the daytime, and then Jung will have his own page with the nighttime. I think I'm doing Dream here. Like, it's not in age order, but since Chanla debuted first, I guess. I don't know. Then we have the ticket here. This is the wavy one. Like, I checked and they're literally the same, but I, you know, I took notes of like which is which. Wait. Ah, yeah, there. The dream one. Then this one. Should I? Change the dream one to show the one on the back. Nice. I, don't know, I like this better since it's really the front of the um, thing. So I actually found this. I put it in the one to seven um, section by mistake. So yeah. I for the air ticket sets, I usually put the stickers together just because I do like the stickers as well. Oh no, ah, Shaojin. Oh, I did it by age order. Oh. But yeah, um, those are their air ticket um, photo cards. So let me yeah. just double check if they're like focused. Because <laughs> this is a very like photo page. Yeah, with the photo cards, these are all glitch mode already. And yeah, um, let's put it in the four pocket. So yeah, Jungwoo again will be on his own since. It's like a different version. I just put the filler on this in my own time. So I'm doing age order. So yeah, I guess I should really change this. And this as well. Since the air tickets are the same, no need to change them. Yeah, that is nice. And then next up is just a postcard for the 1 to 7 section. So I'm finally done with um, Jungwoo's postcards. I have the last one for sticker. I think this is the Soul City version. Like, these are such like weird sizes for the postcards. They're so big. I mean, they fit the pages really well, but like you know, they're just so big. And then next, we're going to do Dream. I really need to work on my channel collection. But yeah, um. Starting with glitch mode, so um, I, I don't have the photo box yet, although I did buy um, extra hobbies from Keep Up Rich. So for this one, there's a digipack um, cards. So I have Mark and Chanda. Then I also did pull Jisong. I'm thinking of collecting Jisong. Like I'm still not sure whether I'm gonna continue Jeno, but for now I'm gonna be putting Jisongs here. This is a really really cute photo card. Yeah, and then these are the Momo ones, so I'll be putting Jisong like, on another page since he's the outlier. Yeah, I have Mark, um, Jeno, and then Chandra. So I did only buy the Digipacks from Momo just because um, I wanted like a complete set of my biases, and I didn't want to like, you know, take my chance on the uh, photo book A. Plus it was a bit expensive. 
So yeah, I think these are just fillers. I think because this was supposed to be for the air ticket and this is for the 2022 um, photo pack. So yeah, so we're gonna have five cards. I'll put it in the middle, I guess. Let's put them in the Chenji page. Yeah, we'll, we'll fix that later. But yeah, um, that is it actually for the NCT binder. Let's move on to the next one, which is the SM Girls binder. So for the SM Girls binder, we actually do have quite a lot of photo cards and most of it are red velvet. So yeah, we're gonna be starting with Boa this time, since I do have her um ear ticket card. So yeah, I really like this Boa card. It's really cute, and like her other cards are mostly um mature looking. This one is very like young looking because of like the hairstyle and I like, guess the overall styling. So that's why I really like that. Then let's move on to the postcard and the AR ticket thing. Did I not put like four pockets? <laughs> so yeah, for the AR ticket. Then did I put a two? Hey, two pockets. I think I did, yeah. So here. Like that is a really like a gorgeous postcard. I love it so much. And then for Boa, since I don't really have any like four pocket stuff for her for now, um, I'm gonna be putting this one here. Let's remove the filler. Just put it here, since yeah, it, it'll be like a waste of page, and I won't really have anything. Like she wasn't in the season readings wave, so I won't have any like polarites of her to put. So yeah, and then the next one is um, Red Velvet. It's actually all Film My Rhythm cards. So for Film My Rhythm, I actually pulled two of these and I'm still trading for one of these for another, for the other Sogi um, Reve card or any Irene. Since I think this is quite a high demand card and I want to like, you know, maximize it. <laughs> I got the Maleficent looking Sogi. I really love that card. There's the Cheek Heart Wendy. So yeah, we're setting this as like the, it's not MV set because they're both MV set, but like the theatric set and then the painting set. So we have um, Zoe. I really love this photo card. It's so pretty. And then I did pull an Irene for my Orgel. I just found out that you pronounce it as Orgel and not Orgel. <laughs> my bad. So yeah, and then this Momo set, like, holy shit so pretty like especially the irene one like you know irene's followers are like top tier like i get why it's very expensive but at the same time like please don't overprice i also like though how um as well is um from the the painting inspired set and then wendy is from like the theatrical set and then I mean, I mean um Joy and Yeri are for the theat from the theatrical set and then Wendy is from the dance set. So yeah and then I also got my copy of Bloom and I did pull Wendy from it. From my Sogi um album. I'm planning on like slowly getting the other versions since they're quite expensive. So yeah I think next I'm gonna get is one of like the group versions and then maybe Irene's just because I I'm afraid that Irene's version will get um, will be out of print soon. So yeah, and then yeah, for red velvet, I do have these bookmarks. So I only really pulled these, and then these I was supposed to trade for, but um, one of the people that I traded with, at least I actually, the only person I traded with for the red velvet um, cards gave me these for free. And I was, I, I'm just really thankful. And if you're watching this, thank you again, and I hope you enjoyed the washi tapes that I sent you. Yeah, I'm just so freaking happy that I'm like done with like a uh, weird inclusion. So yeah, we have Yeti. Because I think I pulled two Irene's and then another Wendy, I think. We have Joy. We have Sugi. Then we have Irene. So if, I'm ever, if ever I'm gonna buy more copies of the Film Rhythm albums, I think I'm gonna focus on the um, Oracle version since I do want to get 
all of the standees. I'm not gonna put them in my binder, but I want to have them all. I have Wendy and Yeri for now. So hopefully when I have like more like breathing space in my budget, I'll be able to get that. So yeah, um, that's what it's done. Now let's move on to Espa. So I'm finishing my um, winter um, collection for the Savage cards. So yeah. Oh, another one of these pockets. Yeah, at least they still fit. Okay, I just hate how like blurry these AR tickets are. I'm not AR tickets, AR cards are. And then this really adorable, oh my god, winter card. I'm really glad that I bought these um ticket AR ticket sets. That is so nice. Okay, um, that is it actually. Oh wait no, no. <laughs> the bigger inclusions. Um, for this one I think I, yeah. The other ticket I'm putting it to the little bit to save on space. Then these postcards and the thing. This is for the yeah, Espa um photo pack. I bought winter's version. Then this one, I have a space anyway, and this like, you know, self-made um, two pocket page for like the huge ass postcards. I'm putting it here. It's so pretty though. Yeah, I just love this. I especially love the one with the um, My Little Pony. Yeah. Um, next up is the Inactive Boy Groups collection. So for my Inactive Boy Groups collection, this is just for the other Luna merch that I got. So. Not really sure which is which for the um, H order. But I think I'm gonna put them together since these were, were from Produce. I think June is older. Yeah, let's put June first. So, how should I order this? And lighter first. And here, then his name is Dongju, not Dongju. Sorry for making a mistake from my last video. But yeah, um, lighter here. Yeah, obviously, like um, Jonghyun's is gonna be in the newest binder. Um, this is um, in case you didn't know, um, they sold merch, and I bought the guitar pick set. So yeah, this one is lighter. This one is lighter, I guess. Then for this one, oh, I'm gonna do the other thing. Yeah, what's this? this. Actually, this one. Oh, it's just like okay. Or should I do like this? I think that looks nice. And let's just um switch these so that it makes more sense. Yeah, let me like, double check. It's just focus, right? Yeah. That is actually it. I only put it here just because there were like 16 cards. Last but not the least, we have New East. So for New East, um I actually have this much cards, the most from like any um binder. That's why they're last. And I'm actually really happy today. Like Mingi performed in Wonderland, and like that one hour set list was like top notch. I also performed you and I, so like soft hours. And then, yeah, speaking of Mingi, did have his um face card. I'm trying to like you know slowly get their older cards now. Like we'll see. Like I'm still struggling with like even like the recent ones. So yeah, from what I can find, uh, just do that, do it, and yeah. Then next up we have the new W cards. These are actually um, really easy to get. I got these for like 70 pesos each. So that's why I have a lot of the W cards. So yeah. When I get more cards from the other members, I'll like you know make like a proper layout. But for now, I'm fine with this. Then this one was actually the one that had so much progress since 
I consolidated the page to like just one and I'll have like a subunit page for them. And like this set is complete. Right? Yeah. Just I just need the one with like the green and orange background for Mingi and it'll be done. Then this one is the miscellaneous cards thing with Minion's um 101 card. I am gonna try and buy his 101 card, but I, you know, not now. Then we have this for um what album is it? Weekend? Yeah. Just need three cards left. Yeah. Both of Beko's and then the other Mingi. And then we're gonna start with the this version, the dark one. Yeah. Then another group card for romanticize. I'm down to the last one for Aaron. So yeah, another complete page. So happy about that. The Nido and Bubble, the normal album cards is complete now. With this uh, peace sign group card. Yeah. <sighs> that was really quick, but like I I did buy so much albums. <laughs> so yeah, um the other ones I'm still like you know waiting and stuff. Um we're gonna go on to the other Yeah, I did put this since uh, I got this from my D-Icon Japan uh, magazine, so I put it as a divider for like the album and then the non-album cards or like non-full New East stuff. Yeah, like these are like CD cards, but then it's not a New East release, so yeah. So for Zonghyun, hmm, I guess. Or. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And then we got the D icon Japan thing, which means I have like 11 cards from the set. This one's from D icon as well, that's why I put here. Just so I can balance the thing. So let's put it put this here first. I have add on. These are double sided cards, so. I want to get the new W1. I'm hoping to get it, like, you know, locally. Since it's it's fucking heavy. And the shipping for that is gonna be, like, you know, way too much. Minhyun, that was because. And Mingi. Like, the stuff, like, the hearts aren't, like, you know, cohesive at all. That's why I use, like, the signatures at the front. Since this one is a bit more like you know weird, since only Tohyun is from the same concept, I guess. Then this one on oh, this group card. So soft. Let's put it actually in the middle. Oh no. What? What what did I do? Oh. Okay. I guess we're putting it in first. Then add on. This one I just chose like the one, like the photo that I like better. Then we can't like not put um, Jonghyun's abs in the front. Then the selfie obviously always goes to the front. Then Hyun. Then Mingi. Then last but not the least, the Aaron Trading card. This is from Senyo number 15. This is 24, so let's move this. Yeah, I think Senyo? Was Senyo before Love Page? I'm not really sure. But I think I don't know. Yeah, that is it actually for this uh, for restoring video. I'm hoping that it's um, a bit shorter compared to the other um, videos. But yeah, um, I'm really glad that I'm doing this twice a month just so I can have like, I don't know, uh, more uploads and then and so that my videos hopefully do better. 
and um to get more um chances to like interact with um you guys the watchers so um if you have any questions um let me know or just you know if you have any like things to say just put it in the comment section and i'll gladly reply so yeah that's it for this video um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys